Cybersecurity tools today are looking at log files and rules and signatures to detect the hackers. But hackers keep changing their techniques and as uh, uh, users are evolving, we are trying to focus on user behavior by looking at and then measuring their own behavior, what they have done in past versus what they are doing now. And that is how we are dynamically creating models for each user to detect the deviation and take mitigating action in real time. Security, it's a state of mind. You can never reach nirvana because security can never be perfected. But just when you think you know it all, there's something new that gets developed, a new way in, a new way to attack. So we obviously protect you from all the known risks, but we also look at all the abnormalities that are happening on the network, the internet usage and the device level as well to figure out abnormalities in the other areas that one would not predict through wire scan or malware scan, etc. Last year, in 2017, 61% of small and medium enterprises had a cyber attack. 61%. And these businesses do not have the capabilities or the knowledge to protect themselves. That's where Zeguro comes into play. We provide a holistic solution as their virtual cybersecurity officer to help them understand the cyber risk, help them decrease that risk, and then provide them with the appropriate insurance if and when there is a data breach. Most cyber insurers today are only looking at external factors for underwriting risk. This is like insuring the contents of a house by only looking from outside and not worrying about the behaviors of the insiders. So what is critically missing from the risk picture is the inside view that includes user-driven threats and vulnerabilities within the organizational boundaries. Yaksa fills the gap by providing the complete risk picture. When it comes to small and medium enterprises, cyber insurance has quite a few issues today. Distribution is the number one problem. When a business wants to buy cyber insurance, they have to fill out a five to six page application form asking them detailed security questions which they know nothing about. So as a result, less than 4% of small and medium enterprises have cyber insurance today. The other problem is the data problem. Insurance companies don't really know the dynamically changing environment of a small business. A small business might grow 200% in three months, but an insurance company does not know that up until regular time. Because we are a business's virtual cybersecurity officer, we have that data. We know exactly how the business is changing, what their needs are, and this enables us to provide them with the appropriate cyber insurance when they need it. But it also helps us simplify the overall insurance workflow making insurance easy to buy within a few clicks. They don't have to answer all of these questions because we know what's happening with their environment. The industry nowadays is still always doing the catch-up game with a whack -a mole strategy, meaning when a new hole is found by hackers, the industry is trying to plug it in. But then this chase continues. Yapsa is addressing this dynamic threat by focusing on individual user behaviors making it immune to the evolving hacker techniques. It can also uh, undertake mitigating actions automatically to block attacks, thus preventing a breach. There's no silver bullet to fight against cyber attacks. However, if a business has the right tools and the processes, the risk can be drastically reduced. And that is what Zegro does. As a virtual cybersecurity officer, Zeguro's machine learning algorithms provide the right tools and the processes to a business. But worst case scenario, you know, hackers never sleep. They will eventually find a way to get around things. And that's where Zeguro's cyber insurance comes into play. If there's a data breach, the insurance kicks in and helps a business get back on its feet quickly. So an existing home, obviously, you know, you're looking at a non-traditional smart home, let's say, for example, would be typically at risk from break-ins or fire or water damage. Um, you added the cyber component of it. Uh, now, essentially, what you've done, you've opened up that many more channels, as many devices that you have for people or bad actors to get into your house and cause that physical damage or possible physical damage. What do I mean by that? Um, so let's say, for example, a smart oven. Uh, whereas, yes, you can control it to, you know, get a perfect roast while you might be away and you're coming home, you know, from a long day at work, you can turn it off at the right time.
time and you'll all be ready by the time you get there. Um, if you can control it, so can that actor. It's actually even more important to protect your own cyber attacks as it is to physical attacks.